there, I'm Shannon. And today I thought I would do a hair tutorial, but like not a normal one. I thought I would do one that actually like genuinely I wish I could have found like a year or two ago because no one has ever made a tutorial on this and it's really frustrating. As most of you know, I have really, really short hair. I'm gonna take my extensions out in a second, but my hair is only like this long. A lot of the time when I'm like working or I'm working out or something, I have to put my hair up or I'm like going to a concert, I wanna put my hair up. And I can't because my hair is too short, like it doesn't get in there. I discovered a way that is like basically foolproof to put your hair in buns, ponytails, like any kind of thing and make it look really good with extensions. So let me take these out really quick and make sure I have all the supplies I need and get started. Okay, so as you can see, I took my extensions out and now my hair is really, really, really like decently short. It's not too short anymore, but it's still too short to get in a ponytail. These are my extensions. As you all know, most of you know, I buy my extensions from VP Fashion and I actually have a coupon code in the description that gets you $10 off like this exact set if you want to check it out just because it's always there and I love these these are the only ones I use because they do great things <laughs> like what we're about to do what we are about to do is we're going to do a bun like a basic white girl bun just to start off because it's like it just shows you the technique and everybody needs a basic white girl bun every once in a while so I'm going to be using this track you only need one track for this and um, it's, it's the biggest one it's got four clips and I'm using this one solid black because two-toned when you put your hair in a bun looks really bad first things first you want to find where you want it to go and I always put it just in the back center of my head because that's where I can get most of my hair like in so you really only need like a solid handful a little circle and what I do is I take the track with the clips and I flip it upside down and I clip it in upside down in a circle okay so now you have something that looks like this it just looks like there's an extension coming out of the center of your head which is the goal and at this point you want to flip your head upside down and try and like grab as much hair like towards that point just like you're putting in a ponytail Okay, so once you've got as much as you can get in your hands, you want to actually put the ponytail on it. And on the last loop through, you only want to pull it to the ends of your real hair, like this hair. So like that. Okay, so now you have this like ratchet little ball on your head, which is where you want to be at currently. As you can see, there's a ton of this stuff like flying up. And all I do is I grab it and I pull it down to where the rest of the hair is and I take the long extension piece and I twist it around. And then I just keep twisting it. So once I get to the end, I just take bobby pins and you're gonna need a ton of bobby pins for this and just stick it into place. Okay, so the rest of it is falling out in the back. I don't know if you can see it, but there's just a ton of hair everywhere and that's bound to happen, so all I can really do for that is bobby pin it just because there's literally no way to get it in at all. So, bobby pins AF. Okay, and after you've bobby pinned basically like the whole thing, what I do is I usually take one of these like plastic like cheap ass headbands. I usually use a smaller one, but this is the only one I have in my room right now and just kind of like get the flyaways and like tuck them down. And this is supposed to look really messy, it's just like your typical white girl messy bun, so like I leave some shit out, uh, do whatever, honestly. I usually wear this for working out anyways, so yeah, that's what I do. Um, now that you have the basic concept, I'm gonna like show you the looks that I actually wear out. It's the same thing, so I'm just gonna time lapse most of it. They just look better than this. It's so I'm gonna get started and take this out and go back to my short hair, and we're gonna do double buns because everybody asked me how to do those. Okay, so now that I have my extensions out again, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a double bun, like I said, which is like one bun on each side. It looks kinda like alien-y. This one actually is easier to get all your hair in and it's exactly the same technique. The only difference is that you need two tracks instead of just one and one goes on each side. And I think I'm just gonna do it in time-lapse because it's literally the same thing. It's just you part your hair and take sections from the side of your head. So I'm just gonna do it in time-lapse so you guys can see how I do it.
those two hairstyles I know maybe they seem kind of obvious to some people but for me like it genuinely like I never understood how people who had hair as short as mine and wore extensions could put their hair up in any way so I hope that that little bit of information can help you like make other hairstyles and stuff besides those two if you guys want to see any more tutorials or any videos at all like what kind of videos do you guys want to see let me know in the comment section below I'm gonna be replying to as many comments as I can throughout the day and tomorrow and the next day. Let's see if we can get this video to 11,000 thumbs up. I think we can definitely do 11,000. My last couple videos have just been crazy. You guys have been awesome for the past couple weeks with uh, likes and everything. So I'll be responding to comments. Give this video a like. I love you so much and I will see you soon. Bye kitties.